Do you exercise? Yes, love making and woodworking. Do you have any history of mental illness in your family? I have an uncle who does yoga. Allergies? Cowardice and weak-willed men. And hazelnuts. Sexual history. Epic and private. Oh, man, a night without armor in a savage land. Good morning, Jerry. That is a beautiful sweater vest. April! You look like you could use $20, am I right? Why? Because you're a kid, and kids always need money. I need money. Ah! That's why you're my favorite, Tom. When Tiger Woods feels invincible, he wears a red shirt and black pants. Good morning, deputy! Ron wears the same thing after he's had sex. It's really good to see you, Ron. You've aged horribly. You son of a bitch. And didn't take Oh, long. my God! Not what is your idea. problem? Nothing's changed, has it? Changed. Who set the bed on fire, Excuse huh? me. I did, OK? Oh, is that what you want to hear? Hey, we're fine. Okay, we're I'm fine. So Please, sorry. we're fine. Oh take it God. easy. When you meddle in someone's personal life, it's just so rewarding. Uh, mm. oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yes, baby. I've got it. Usual place. Here. Is it always like this? I wouldn't know. Don't like strip clubs. It smells like a wet mop in here. And I get the feeling that every one of these women is running a low-grade fever. You're one of the good ones, Ron. Wait a minute. Hello, beautiful. Strippers do nothing for me. I like a strong, salt-of-the-earth, self-possessed woman at the top of her field. Your Steffi Graffs, your Cheryl Swoopses, but I will take a free breakfast buffet anytime, any place. I'm a simple man. I like pretty dark-haired women and breakfast food. But this stock photo I bought at a framing store isn't real. Today, I got the real thing. A naked Tammy made me breakfast this morning. Oh, I should have taken a picture of it. So, how are you feeling, Tom? Are you feeling okay? I like pretending to be sad. I now see why girls do it. So, your arrangement with Wendy, it really was completely platonic? Yeah, never so much as even kissed. Except for a little peck at the wedding ceremony for appearances. Uh, now that you're getting divorced, I sort of feel like there may be some potential with me and Wendy. Would it be okay with you if I was to ask her out once the fake dust settles? Yeah, um, why not? Sure. Looking at her, I, I feel like she might be the perfect spooning size for me. I'm gonna take a leak. As she was burned at the stake, Joan of Arc did not cower. She did not beg for mercy. She said in a strong, clear voice, I am not afraid. I was born to do this. I want to be burned at the stake. Many societal institutions were established solely to oppress women. To this day, some feminists have even condemned marriage as a glorified form of slavery. Amen. That class was awesome. I wholeheartedly agree. If that woman weren't so violently opposed to marriage, I think I would propose to her. Oh my god, four weeks. I'm already bored. Of course you are. You're not challenging yourself. I suggest we sample a few more classes. Fine. Very good. Goodbye, everybody. Guess what? I was secretly an undercover rock star this whole time. For what it's worth, I think you would make an incredible brunette. Ron Swanson. Whale tail, whale tail. She's flashing a whale tail. Abort, abort, abort. Hello, Tammy. Oh, hello, Ron. I didn't see you come in. I was just checking myself for scoliosis. And? Straight as an arrow. Just like somebody else I know. Jerky? Call off the dogs. You and I both know that in my entire adult life, I have never checked a book out of the library. Oh, my God, she's amazing. Ooh. <laughs>
It's been like this for hours. Hey, Swanson! Snap out of it! Leslie, congratulate us. Look, Ron's got one just like it on his penis. Oh, yeah. What the hell happened to you? Well... Kiss the bride. It's been kind of a crazy night. Come back. Come back. Oh, wow, look at that. You shaved off part of your mustache. That's lovely. I didn't shave it off. It rubbed off from friction. Oh. She just knows you so well. I was starting to wonder if I was ever going to get to that point. I'm worried that maybe there isn't room in your life for another woman. At this very moment, Leslie is throwing herself in front of a freight train named Tammy. For me and you. Leslie is a wonderful, loyal friend who is very important in my life. But I would sooner visit Europe than have something romantic happen between us. Although, if you'd like to visit Europe, I like you so much I'd be willing to risk it. But not France, right? God, no. See, you know me pretty well already. But you're about to get to know me even better. I brought you here because I want to show you something that almost no one knows about. Certainly not Tammy, and not even Leslie Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, and especially the ladies, put your hands together for the one, the only, my man, Mr. Duke Silver. <laughs> A mighty fine holiday evening to you all. It might be cold outside, but it's about to get warm all up in my jazz. I, of course, am Duke Silver, and I would like to dedicate this first song to my duchess. You're so lucky. I'm going to kill you.